Hi, I'm Judy Black, founder of Anjois, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to enjoy wine. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the nose of a wine, how to appreciate the nose of a wine. There are a few things that you want to uh, think about when you're putting your nose in a glass of wine. First of all, when you put your nose in the glass of wine, put it all the way in and leave your mouth partially open to fully experience the aromas and, and smell. You can also make the sign of the cross go vertical and then horizontally across the glass of the wine to get the full range of flavors and tilt the wine a bit. But don't be afraid to really put your nose in the glass. Some of the things that you're going to be looking for are uh, four primary, I would say, aromas. There's a fruit, first of all, that you're going to look for. Wine is made from a fruit, grapes. and so. But there are also some fruit aromas that we talk about in the terms of other fruits, like orchard fruits would be, um, you know, a pear, apple, peach. Uh, there are tropical fruits like banana, coconut, mango. Um, then there's the earth component. Some wines will express more earth than fruit when you put your nose in the glass, and that's really, you know, coming from the soil that they're coming from and the climate. Then there is, a sometimes some wines will have a floral component. So just think about the flowers that you might be uh, thinking of when you're smelling that glass of wine. And then finally, there's an element, some wines will have an element of minerality. And the way I can best describe that, minerality is frequently a debated topic, but the way I can best describe that is just sort of thinking about um, a salty sort of um, aroma, almost like you, you were at the sea or the ocean and smelling salt water. So those are the four main, um, to me, I would say, I would divide the aromas of wine into those four main components, and one might be more dominant than the other, but those are the things that you want to think about. And don't be afraid to just use the words that come to mind immediately. Be a bit um, you know, intuitive and creative about it. There's no right or wrong. It's just whatever you're experiencing, don't be afraid to express it. I think that um, a lot of times people feel like there are certain wrong or white words to use when describing wine, but I think it's just about tapping into your memory bank and thinking, what does this remind me of that I've seen or smelled before? And that's how you can discover on your own the nose of a wine.